So you um, undecided means you've not yet decided um, or worked on that particular title or abstract. Maybe you can mark an, a title or abstract as maybe if you're not sure whether it fits into your selection criterion and you want to discuss it with the other reviewers. So to do that, you just click on the title and then you click on maybe. When you mark it as maybe, it puts your name there. So it says, Jim says, this paper is a maybe. To include a paper, you just click on the title, you read the title, you read the abstract, you ensure that it's everything you want. You you want to know that it's a journal article, that's what you want to include. This, this abstract tells you that this is the study you want to include. You just click on include and it says, Jim has included this paper. And it's in green. So green is basically the visual representation of inclusion if this is the paper i don't want to include i want to exclude i click on exclude and then it's red so white is maybe green is include red is exclude now you actually can add a reason for excluding the paper so you say not in scope and as you can see it says there's a new exclusion reason with a plus so when you click on it it puts it here, not in scope. That's the really cool thing about Ryan. The fact that you can add the exclusion re reason right in Ryan. These are just um, default reasons that the Ryan creators added. There's also a reason or a label feature. You can add a label to a paper. So for example, if I want to use this for a meta analysis, then I can add a label. Now labels are in blue. Exclusion reasons are in red. I'll show you where all these go. So for the next paper, you can also exclude with a reason. This time when I come back, I don't have to type the reason again. You see it here, not in scope. But if I have a new reason, not English, and I click on it. Now I have the two reasons for which I want to exclude this paper. Let's go to the next one. Now you see that not English is here and then wrong drug. If it's more than one reason, you just click, you just add all of them, keep adding and you see that it po populates them. Excellent. Now for this same paper, I can add a label like discuss with supervisor. So when I, I add the reason, I click on that. And as I'm adding the reasons, actually you, you begin to see that the reasons I'm using are populating themselves under the exclusion reasons tab. So if I want to see all the papers that I excluded because they were not English, I can just click on this and it shows them. If I click on not in scope, these are the ones I said were not in scope. And if I want to go back to the papers that I wanted to discuss with my supervisor, I can simply click on discuss with supervisor and all that will be shown. So as you keep adding your reasons and labels, these tabs keep getting populated. So I can add, when I come back to the labels, all the new labels I added will be here. So let's say these are papers I want to discuss with my supervisor. I'm going to add all of them. And when you come here now, you can see that you have five papers you want to discuss with your supervisor and one paper that is going for a meta-analysis. So if I click on that, I can, I can take a look at them and export them or something of the sort, or even add my supervisors as viewers so that they can click on this tab, read the abstracts and tell you what decision to include. So they themselves can also add a label to determine um, what next steps to take. You can actually make several decisions at a time. So you can highlight more than one. In, in Windows, I'm clicking on Shift, I'm pressing on Shift, and I'm just clicking a range of papers. You can also hold down Control and click on the decisions you want to make, or if you want to label papers. So if I click on these things, I can label that I want to give them to Miss X and I want to assign these papers to Mr. Y. 
And these ones I have to discuss with my supervisor first. So you can actually highlight a lot of them and make a decision. The part where this has really helped me is when I want to split papers between reviewers or among reviewers. If there's more than one person and you want to split the work, you can use this. Or if you want to exclude all these things at once because they are not English, then you can highlight all of them and just say not English and it highlights all of them at the same time. That's so amazing. Now you can come back to the labels. You can click on the Mr. Y papers and they are here. You can click on the Miss X papers and they are here. So do you see the applicability of this? If, for example, you're splitting your paper in, in terms of sections, if it's the literature review and you want to split the paper in terms of sections, there's a really cool way to do it. So, for example, you can split it up into, say, section one, section one. I'm hoping it will have a real name and all of that. So when you come to the labels, you just click on it and then you have that. 